Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, <laughs> February 19th, 2020. Uh, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 19th of February, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and the message resonates for you in that moment, then that is the message for you at that moment. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So, I've been having trouble with getting up <laughs> lately, and I can't tell if it's Mercury being in retrograde or if it's or if it's Pisces season or if, a if it's a combination of both. We entered into Pisces season yesterday and I, I mean I as soon as I woke up yesterday I was all in the feels y'all. Everything was just like a soppy soggy mess I guess you know I was just sluggish and I was really emotional and blah 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 and so um, I mean it's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's not like it's painful or anything anything like that it's just i just noticed that we entered into pisces season and speaking of which i did a pisces season reading for the collective um yesterday which is going to be um viewable today wednesday the 19th um that's going to be published as of like noon today um so if you're watching this morning coffee if you're watching this first thing in the morning or like as soon as it's uploaded uh, or published, um, look out for that. That's coming out at noon. And if you guys are watching this later on, I mean, if it's after noon o'clock, noon o'clock, <laughs> noon p.m. Um, Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time, then you probably have already seen that it's up there. But anyway, check it out. It's really great. Um, a lot of really great stuff came through with that. It's a general collective message. And then we, we do general messages and then we do love messages. Um, and I think I want to continue doing that. I am in the process of revamp revamping how I do my readings. Um, I, I'm, I'm making, I feel like I'm making a bit of a switch from using tarot primarily to using certain types of oracle cards that aren't like the ones I have here that I use for like our oracle guidance at the end of the reading, like say Earth Warriors Oracle. They're, they don't have... Um, lengthy descriptions and they can be read more on an intuitive level i'm really liking doing that and then using the tarot to clarify um oh i'm kind of using them in tandem really <clears throat> um and um yeah so that's how i performed that reading and it turned out great really turned out right great but I'm, i feel myself making a switch to that format so with that said i would really love your feedback everybody um, number one, on how the res reading resonated with you, of course, but number two, the flow of the reading and, you know, the style of it, everything like that. And if it, you know, if I, I really may be completely revamping my whole reading system, I'm actually kind of excited about it. So yeah, that'll be a thing. That's a thing that's going to happen today. So look out for that. Um, no happy hour tonight. I have a show to go to. Um, I'll most likely do happy hour tomorrow. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So let's, let's, we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so I don't really have a pre-shuffle. I was sitting, well, okay, Spirit just said, well, yes, you do. All right, fine. But I was sitting here shuffling for the longest time and nothing fell out. So I finally stopped and was like, whatever, I'm just going to start the reading. And we've landed on the Ace of Pentacles. With the ten of cups uh, and to me this is a new beginning a fresh start to a relationship a fresh start to a circumstance there feels like there's a new there's something um it just feels like there this is something that's getting off the ground or so there's like this is a new step in um towards uh, in the path towards leading towards the ultimate happiness of the Ten of Cups here. A new seed is being planted, a new offer is being made, a new steps are being taken, a new leaf has been turned, a new chapter has begun, whatnot, whatever, that kind of thing, OK? 
guy. This really could be anything. And I don't really want to get too specific about it. I just, because this wasn't, I really wasn't even planning on having a pre-shuffle, but I landed on this and I was like, oh, this, this looks nice. <laughs> and then Spirit reminded me, they were like, no, tell this to them. So I was like, okay, all right, cool. So here we are. Um, but yeah, I don't really want to get too specific on it. This just, it, it feels good though. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Okay. It, and this Ten of Cups, it doesn't feel like you're going straight to, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> it doesn't feel like you're going straight to the Ten of Cups. It feels like there's a path that is taking you towards whatever this Ten of Cups is for you. And this Ace of Pentacles here is the beginning of that, is the start of that. Okay. It's the new commitment, it's the new beginning and whatnot, whatever. Cool. All right. So with that said, let's uh, let's see what else we got for two day skis. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. We have this five. Five? Okay. I was originally I heard three, but since I said five, yeah, why not? Let's do five. Okay, five shuffles. Here we go. One. Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. Two. What would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? That was three. Also, I may do morning coffee in that oracle format because I'm 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 kind of wanting to change this deck that I'm using here. This is four. I don't know. We'll see what happens, honestly. <laughs> and this is five. Okay. All right, kids, let's see what we've got for today. Wednesday, February nineteenth, twenty twenty. What do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? Oh. Okay, we got some there. My eyes are closed, so I can't see what that is. Where did it even where did it even go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Is that? There was only one card. I felt like there were more. Anyway. Alright, what do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? What's going on? What's going on for the collective? Ooh. Yeah, that was too much. The card, I mean, I guess y'all really don't want to talk today, huh? keep going they're saying okay just keep going just keep swimming just keep swimming oh my god I forgot I used to see the nine of wands that way okay uh, one more one more okay one more I used to call the nine of wands my just keep swimming card and I haven't referred to it that way in a long time that's enough okay Aw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, overall energy, we have four of wands. Oh, with the sun. Oh, my goodness. And then we have the ace of pentacles again. Oh, my gosh. With the two of pentacles, temperance, and the nine of cups. Good golly, you guys. Wow. Um... Okay, so first thing I'm seeing here is there's an offer coming. Ace to the two of pentacles. And the feeling that I'm getting from this is there's either an offer or a brand new start that's happening, but whatever is happening here is leading to greater stability, uh, leading to greater equilibrium, greater flow. I'm just getting a very a flowy type energy from this two of pentacles. I'm also getting an energy of like two people being very happy 
about whatever this is. This could be a business arrangement. This could be a partnership. Um, Co-creatorship is something that I just heard. And I do feel like this is two people coming together in tandem, um, working together, teamwork. I'm getting a very teamwork aspect up to this, which makes sense because you have the Ace and the Two of Pentacles. That, I mean, that, that makes three, right? So, that, and the energy of the Three of Pentacles is that of teamwork and entrepreneurship and, and building a better foundation together and, and whatnot, whatever. So I just get the sense that it's like something is going to be offered to someone that's going to make someone, it's going to make another person, it's going to make one person very happy because ultimately they'll be getting what they want. But it's also, it's going to make both people happy because ultimately both people are getting what they want. You know what I mean? But I do feel, I do feel strongly that there's some sort of offer that's coming forward towards someone that's being made towards someone. Now, with temperance here, I'm getting two, two things. One, um, that there's a lot of patience involved. But number two, this is an energy of, it's kind of um, speaking to this equilibrium or this balance um, between I just feel like it's two people. It could be a group of people that are coming together, but I just feel predominantly that there's a balance and a harmony and alchemy, alchemy between two people. It's like you two understand each other better or you just get each other if, if you're new to each other. Um, that's one part of it. Uh, that could be resonating with someone. Um, But there's a lot of internal balance I'm feeling with Temperance card also, which would allow for this union to happen. I mean, you have the Four of Wands as an overall energy with the sun. I mean, I, I almost want to call this a dream come true. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, I've lost focus, I've lost focus, oh God, oh God. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, part of me wants to call this a dream come true. I did hear that, you know, and I, because I, I just heard dreams do come true. <laughs> it's almost like it's a miracle. <laughs> and then you have the Nine of Cups here. I mean, satisfaction, wish fulfillment, wishes being granted. I mean, there's just the joy on this person's, on this young person's face is like unescapable. Like I, I can't look at this card right now without seeing how much joy is on that person's face. The balance, the harmony, the union. It's just, I think I want to call this, I want to title this really that, reading that, the balance, the harmony, the union. Oh my God. <laughs> um... Okay, I guess I'm going to leave it there because that's really all I'm picking up on that. So now I guess we can start clarifying. I want to clarify this Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So let's do that and see what we come up with. Oh, okay. So I want to mention something. Um, somebody put a comment on morning coffee from, I think it was maybe Monday, in which they said that they saw a shadow behind me and I never responded to it because I, I read it. I was like, oh my God, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But then I never got to actually respond, got around to responding. But I did notice that actually. And there was a moment right before, like I, I noticed there was a shadow that moved like right down here by my closet and my door. I thought maybe it was like a, a mouse or something, but I never saw anything else. But but and I think that might have been what you saw, or whomever said this. But right before that happened, I saw a shadow in my window that looked like it was like the shadow of like the the silhouette of a person of a man, and it was look it looked like it was like right in my window. And I'm like, there's no possible way anyone could be up against my window like that. I'm on I'm street side the fire escapes from my building are in the back of the building and I'm on the third floor. Like there's no way someone could be standing at my window right now. But 
it was because we have construction going on across the street. As many of you know, um, they tore down the building across the street from me, which was at the time building 144, and now they're rebuilding it. And they've gotten sufficient, they've gotten enough of it, a sufficient amount of the building built where they're now up on my level. They have, because they're pouring concrete in between the levels to like make the levels of the building. And so now they're, they're up at my level and they might still be going higher, but the shadows that you see is the shadows of the men working across the street because that's also right, like literally right where that building is, is where the sun rises. <laughs> so as the sun is rising, um, it's casting shadows in my room now, which is weird. <laughs> so that's what that was. I wanted to explain it to you. And I, I mentioned that because I'm sitting here seeing all these shadows in my window. I'm like, oh, it's just the construction. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So if you notice anything else like that, then that's what's happening. Okay. Cool. By the way, they changed the number. They, um... So they, as they've been building the building, they finally got enough scaffolding up and they put the new building number. It's now 148. First time I saw that, I was slightly triggered. <laughs> I was like, what? You can't change the building number. How dare you? <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's fine. Uh, rest assured, I promise you, that building used to be 144. And it freaked me out at first. Anyway, anyway, okay, so, clarity. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Again, there's just, there's a balance. There's an equilibrium that I'm getting from this, uh, from this, these cards. It's like, I'm hearing partnership, teamwork, partners in crime, Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, this doesn't have to be romantic. This is a general reading, guys, but it absolutely could be business and financial. It also doesn't have to be an offer being made to someone. This could be you starting a new business, starting a new venture, getting something off the ground. I just feel, I, I, I get this sense, and it actually might be something new that you have found for yourself that in which you are finding such great joy and balance and harmony in it. And actually, I really want to encourage whomever that is for to stay in that energy of just flowing with it and enjoying your time in it. Because the more you focus on just how much fun you're having and how good it feels and just how right it feels, and how balanced it is and how everything is just flowing, the, 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 the less you focus on these ships in the background that are coming in for you here. Like I'm getting that... <clears throat> This is, a lot, this is a distracting you enough to allow more stuff to come flowing into your life. Well, isn't that just beautiful? Last shuffle. Okay, so let's look a little deeper at this. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. What was that? The King of Pentacles? It was the King of Pentacles. Okay. But it didn't want to come out. That's fine. Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. There is definitely a sense of groundedness, a, a sense of stability, a sense of understanding, um, a sense of feeling secure within yourself. Safe, secure, grounded, stabilized, financially stable, probably. Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. The cards just don't want to talk today. This is weird, you guys. This is fucking weird okay i don't like it <laughs> oh there we go oh there we go yeah okay so the page of wands has come out at eh, the queen of wands I, I heard a new business venture when i saw the page of wands here okay overall jet energy ooh, overall energy right now is the world all right so here's the thing, you guys, and this is actually what I was just talking about in staying in this receptive mode, staying in alignment with things. Um, and by staying and, and you, you stay in alignment by focusing on what it is you want instead of, fo instead of focusing on what it is you don't want. Um, you have the Queen of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands... <clears throat> okay, I am getting two different I, I'm getting two different scenarios here. So we'll start with the business side of things. The page of wands can be 
um, a messenger, sure. But it also, in my opinion, as a reader, the Page of Wands can represent um, maybe a midlife crisis if this is if like you know that's your if that's something you're going through, or it actually could just represent a change in you, um, re-identifying yourself, changing the way you see things, changing your view on something, changing, you know, your identity, your your physical representation in some way how you represent yourself, how you show yourself. It could be something as minis as small as how you dress, you know, changing your style of hair, your style of clothes. It's just, it's, it's, it's an energy of kind of re-identifying yourself, okay? But with this comes this great sense of passion with the Queen of Wands. It could be something that um, you've attracted to yourself, okay? Maybe you have been in this Queen of Wands energy and now something new has come forward and it's like completely changed your view forever. It's changed the way you want to live your life, express yourself. And, and I guess, yes, I am getting like two different scenarios here. This doesn't necessarily have to do with love, but if we're getting into love, which is something that I'm kind of picking up on also, Either way, whatever this is, regardless of whatever this is for you, I highly recommend that you stay in this Queen of Wands energy here because it's working for you. You know what I mean? Like it's bringing you this, whatever this is, to just keep staying in this Queen of Wands energy. Now, here's the other thing that's coming through because the Page of Wands can also be a messenger, okay? <clears throat> so there could be a message, a, a, mess a message of commitment, an offer of commitment, an offer of a new beginning. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Again, you want to stay in this receptive energy here. The world... Completion is really what I'm getting from the world. Um, yes, completion of a cycle, but I want to say I have something more specific and I'm trying to put it into words here. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, completion of a cycle is the best way to put it. However, I want to be more specific because it feels like it's just co like com completion of a phase between two people completion of a beginning stages of a relationship between two people that's what i'm getting with the world here so yeah technically that is a completion of a cycle but it's not like it's not like i'm necessarily feeling that you know a relationship between you and someone else or whatever is over no it really kind of feels like something is commencing okay so with the world at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy for this right now it's like one phase of that relationship, like the preliminary phase of that relationship has been completed. And now, whether this is romantic, business, friendship, creative, I don't know, whatever, whatever this is, and it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It can just be a phase in your life, okay? Because this Ace of Pentacles could very well be just a brand new start for you, a new, a, a new shift in your reality, going in a new direction, planting a new seed, starting something new in your life. It doesn't have to be just a relationship, okay? But whatever phase that happened right before this, that is completing out. And now you're, you're able to like move on to the next phase in whatever is developing here for you. I wanna get a little bit more on that. What else can you tell us about this Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands that's here? Oh, damn. <laughs> the King of Cups. Good lord. <laughs> with the Four of Swords. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to cough. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah. A love offer. A romantic offer. Or someone that here... Um, that is, I'm hearing very passionate about who they are, maybe very passionate about who you are. Oh. Um, okay, I am hearing very consistently that, and very strongly that a love offer is coming through. Um, and this could be something that has taken a while for someone to contemplate with the Four of Swords. Again, remain in this Queen of Wands energy. 
you have the masculine and the feminine here. You fem feminine, feminine in the Queen of Wands and the and the the the, the King of Cups. Okay, but um, I do get a feeling that someone is keeping their emotions or how they truly feel very close to them. Uh, and I I did just hear this is something that could change quite rapidly or quite drastically. I mean, like there there may be a moment where all of a sudden there's just like a deluge <laughs> of feelings being expressed with this four of swords energy though that i still get a little bit of a feeling of like um flying under the radar not trying to be too hasty is something that i heard with this four of swords here okay um, but also it is an energy of it kind of feels like it's taken a long time for someone here to either show what they're truly feeling um, admit what they're truly feeling to themselves or take action on what they're truly feeling. But yeah, this definitely could be a message here. Now, if we want to, I mean, okay, let's, let's take love out of this and let's just look at a partnership. It says, this, this doesn't have to just be a partnership between a physical male, man and a physical woman. This could just be energy here. Okay, one being more of the feminine, the other being more of the masculine energy. And this could be a, a creative partnership here. The feminine individual is pulling in a masculine individual in which... You two can work together. Queen of Wands, King of Cups. Now, fire and water, they are opposites, sure, but they temper each other. And in the Temperance card, in other decks, it's depicted, it can be depicted, the Temperance card could be depicted as an angel that's tempering fire and water. Opposites attract. Okay. That's really cool. Spirit's saying get more on this. Okay. All right, we'll get more on this. What else do you want to tell us about this, Spirit? <clears throat> what else do we need to know about this? Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. With the Seven of Wands. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I mean, this could really be something that's very financially viable for you. And this is just... I'm just getting a strong sense of some sort of teamwork here. Whether it's business or relationship or both, I mean, I just feel there are counterparts or individuals that are coming together here that, I mean, it could, like, I feel a power couple type energy here. Something that is just, like, unstoppable, unbeatable, like, financially emotionally romantically stable stability wise i mean this ten of pentacles is just giving me an energy of like 100 percent completion everything you could ever want and need in a family or a relationship dynamic or right the hierophant holy shit oh my god with the empress good golly miss molly Oh, damn. And the Emperor is now on the bottom of the deck. Yo. Yo. Check it out. You, I mean, you have the counterparts here. I mean, we had counterparts in the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups just because it's the feminine and the masculine. But now we have the official counterparts. The Emperor and the Empress with the Hierophant in between. I mean, talk about marriage talk about power couple wow you guys wow oh <laughs> wow 
Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm 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 a fool. I'm cracking myself up. This is beautiful. I mean, okay, so what I'm seeing here, either this is romantic or it's not. If, if, even if it's not romantic, I'm seeing a masculine and a feminine individual, whether it's it, it, whether it's man and woman or it's same gender. Okay, I'm seeing a man, a masculine energy and a feminine energy coming together into some sort of union. You have the hierophant here. You have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck there. This is a partnership. This is like, this is a serious partnership that is really going to turn into something great. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah, and you now see, it's it's so funny because underneath the Emperor here is the Four of Pentacles. And I was telling you that this Ace and this Two of Pentacles here, I was picking up on an energy of some sort of teamwork or the two of these combining to become the energy of the three of pentacles which is entrepreneurship yes but it's also teamwork and it's also building some sort of foundation with the three of pentacles right and so now here we have the four of pentacles in which we have that foundation we also have the four of wands which is another depiction of that foundation um yes oh oh shoot i lost my train of thought here um Oh, completion of a cycle. Thank you, Spirit. Um, <clears throat> I was also getting that with the world that was underneath the deck before, a phase in some sort of relationship dynamic has completed, and now people can, in, involved in this dynamic can move forward to the next phase. And you have another depiction of that here in the Ten of Pentacles, because the Ten of Pentacles can represent a... Uh, a lesson learned, a closing out of a cycle, completion being ready to move on to the next situation, the next circumstance, being ready to graduate to the next life experience or le next life lesson, yeah? I'm curious, what's underneath the Four of Pentacles? Oh, Temperance. <laughs> I love it, you guys. There is a union that is happening. This shit is happening, y'all. <laughs> um, yes, Golden Universal Tarot. Um, okay, so, I'm, don't question it, Eric, just go with it. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go with it then, fine. <laughs> so, I want to get, I'm being guided to go to the universe, Golden Universal Tarot, and I, let's talk, and I want to talk about the Nine of Cups and Temperance here. So, Spirit has something they want to tell us about this, um, some guidance some guidance in terms of that okay in terms of the temperance and the nine of cups because there's still an element of patience that's needed here although even though i'm saying that i don't feel like y'all are too worried about it or whomever it is that's resonating with this energy you're too worried about it because you've been so patient for so long it's like it's kind of that situation where it's like well i've waited five years right? I can wait six more months you know, or something like that. You know, maybe that's a little extreme, but like, it's that kind of energy, you know, it's like, I've been waiting this long. Like what's, what's an extra, like 15 minutes. You know what I mean? You really, and if you're in that energy, you have really learned the value of patience and divine timing and understanding that. Okay. One last shuffle. And then we're going to talk about this Nine of Cups and Temperance. All right, your patience is paying off. Your hard work is paying off, too. What do you want to say to us about this, Spirit? What do you want to tell us? Oh, my God, the sun. <laughs> oh, wow. Clarity, understanding. I'm also getting union from that. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. Well, that's interesting. Oh, and the Empress is back on the bottom of the deck here. All right, so... Okay, okay, I get it. So for those of you that are struggling in this temperance energy, okay, you really need to recognize, you really need to understand that your patience is absolutely going to pay off. Patience is 100% a virtue when 
manifesting with the universe. Okay, and when are we not manifesting with the universe? Like, come on, I mean, even when we're not conscious of it, you know, we are still manifesting with the universe. Often, though, when we're not conscious of it, we're we're struggling, struggling along, and making things much more difficult for ourselves. What for ourselves? But then, once we become consciously aware of the process, then you know, it it can flow easier. But you have to be patient. You always have to be patient because nothing is ever going to happen when your ego wants it to the sun with the five of cups the sun is a very optimistic card is one it's like the, the best card in the deck okay <clears throat> um but the sun can represent ego and narcissism right and so when your ego gets in the way and it's like no i like being all backstreet boys i want it that way it's like well no you're not going to get it that way <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I crack myself up. But yeah, I mean, totally. I want it that way. Right? It's like, well, no, honey, you're going to have to sit the fuck down because you're not getting it that way. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. That was so good. Okay. Um, But then that just causes turmoil. Eight of Swords, right? When in reality, if you were to just release yourself from, let's turn, let's turn this energy reversed. If you were to just release yourself from that, okay, from all the ego and all the pain and all the struggle and all the strife and just like go with the flow and realized, realize just how abundant you are, the situation is, how abundant the universe is, it's like, Okay. All right. Cool. So I get it. So there, I, I, I understand how, um, if, you know, say you have it a certain way in your head, um, and you think that's really the only way it could happen and then it doesn't happen that way. And now you're like, well, shit, I'm like, I'm completely lost. There go my chances. Like this is never going to work. And then this universe is sitting back there behind you, listening to all this stuff going on in your head and your ego and your mind and all that. And just kind of like smirking at you, like <laughs> this bitch over here, she thinks, this is the only way this is going to be able to happen. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the universe is, number one, infinitely intelligent, like way more intelligent than we can even wrap our three-dimensionally oriented minds on. And that's not to say that we are stupid in any way. No, but the universe is vast. Vast, you guys. So that means that there are infinite, infinite ways that something can be brought to fruition but you just have to trust in the universe and let your ego go let the universe guide you here stop worrying about it with the five of cups stop crying over spilled milk we should we can say stop focusing on the ways that it may have failed in the past release yourself from that that mental prison and just let the universe guide you everything is going to work out exactly as it's meant to to serve your highest good and the highest good of others. But you have got to be patient. Okay. Your patience is going to pay off. Nine of Cups. Temperance. I'm still laughing at that. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. So... <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I cracked myself up. Um, let's get your oracle guidance. And I want to get it from the fairy forest. I really like this deck. Alrighty. Let's see what we get here. <laughs> I'm, st I'm sorry. I'm still laughing. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, one last, <laughs> one last shovel here, and then we'll see what your oracle guidance is for the day. Yeah. Please, for today's reading. The cards just... Oh, there we go. 
I was gonna say the cards just are just don't want to talk today, but we got it. We got card number 24, the solitary, dedication, self-love, focus. Beautiful card. Okay. Now I have that, now I have I want it that way stuck in my head. For those of you that are gonna go through the rest of your day with that song stuck in your head, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, the solitary, dedication, self-love, and focus. Within, within you go. When the solitary visits, you are about to go within, to withdraw and retreat from the world for a time. This can be a response to an event from the outside, uh, a trauma, sadness, or betrayal, and the withdrawal inwards, which appears to be depression, is actually a way of respecting the soul's shadow, investigating it, understanding it, and mastering it. This card indicates a time when you will go it alone, walk your own path, choosing to carve a way forward that you can be sure remains true to the deep self. I do want to say um, that this actually, this could apply to some sort of partnership uh, union or something like that. I would recommend that you try to stay out of the it's us against the world type mentality with that, but for sure. Uh, uh, uh. There will be a time of learning away from the mainstream, and there may be times when you feel isolated and somewhat worried about how your new path will be perceived. It can also indicate that in the past life, you have suffered for your gifts and spirituality. You may have experienced a past life as a healer, seer, witch, wizard, or medicine man, in which a new order decree, decreed your power to be invalid and dark. This fear still pursues, pursues you when you connect with the power of your gift, resulting in fears surrounding intuition and your natural talents. By going within, we learn more about our soul. It's not a part of the journey that we necessarily look forward to, but it is a time of great development on the spiritual path and is imperative to growth. Before we can shine our light in the world, we must ignite our inner spark. It's going inward, I'm sorry, this going inward is actually the sacred task of tending your own sacred flame and learning from it before turning to matters of the world again. This card can sometimes indicate that a person has undergone a literal near-death experience. Okay, well... I mean, this was such a good reading, and then all of a sudden we got that, which I'm great. I mean, I appreciate it. I'm grateful for it. And again, quite honest, to be quite honest, you know, the universe is infinitely intelligent. So may, I don't understand what it means, but somebody out there is going to resonate with. So there you have it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to look out for the Pisces season reading. I'm excited for you guys to see that. Um, and also no happy hour tonight, potentially tomorrow. We'll see how I, okay. I love you guys and I hope you have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.